Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, dealing with Ephesians, continuation, this should be it. Hmm? Okay, um, starting at verse, let's see, praying, okay, verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Prayer. All of our prayer lives need to improve, mine included. But you know, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, it avails much. And we don't realize that sometimes we need to, to stop trying to make things happen, stop trying to manipulate and start talking to our Father. Take it to God in prayer. Take it all to God in prayer. Your boss is on your last nerve. Your boss is, is like a monkey on your back. He's like a cock pistol pointing right at your head, at your job. Pray. Pray about it. Tell God what you want. Ask God to intervene and vindicate you. Don't fight your own battles. Don't tit for tat. Hmm? Pray. You see somebody on your job or somebody at your church really struggling either with sin or they're struggling with the, as they call, the vicissitudes of life. Let the compassion rise up in your heart from God's love. And pray for them. Don't talk about them behind their back. Pray for them. Even Jesus says, pray for your enemies. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's fussing and fuming about what's going on in the country now, those of you who are totally against Trump, just like some of you who were totally against President Obama, either, either one of those presidents, President Trump is in office now. And just like you should have been praying for President Obama, like many of us did, all of us should be praying for President Trump. That includes me, and I do. Are you? Because see, when your prayers get answered, it doesn't just benefit President Trump. It benefits all of us. Pray for him. Pray that God arrests his heart. Pray for the people on your job that you can't get along with or that don't like you. Pray for them. You might remind somebody of an abusive uncle or an abusive aunt. You never know why people don't take to you. And it's not for you to worry about. Like, whatever. Take it to God. Lord, if there's something in me that I need to work on, show me. Because I may be getting on people's nerves and I don't understand that I'm doing so or why. Everything should be taken to God in prayer. Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your path. Prayer will get you healed. Lord, I've been dealing with rejection all my life. Lord, my biggest issue is abandonment. Lord, I'm tired of being called fat. Lord, I'm tired of being treated like a retard. Lord, I'm tired of being taken advantage of. Lord, help me. Heal me. Reverse the damage. Uproot all of these hang-ups of mine. Remove all the hurts I've accumulated down through the years. Heal my heart. Heal my mind. Heal my soul. Heal my body. And you be, help, hey, here's a good one. Lord, help me to forgive the ones that I do not care to forgive. The ones that I feel deserve it the least. Help me to forgive them. Show me how to love. 
in the true meaning of the word. That's a prayer. Show me how to love. Teach me what real love is. There are so many things you can ask God in prayer, including something silly like this. Lord, where did I put my keys? I got to go. He's not offended by those prayers. Pray. <laughs> God bless you.